Hi, I'm Heather. In a prior video, we talked about how to create a workspace in Microsoft Loop. Now it's time to talk about how to create pages and content. We are in the Loop app with the Project Alchemy workspace open. The first page was automatically inserted and called Untitled. Before you add a title, I would like to draw your attention to the template gallery at the bottom left side of the content section. We are currently on the blank template, but there are a few suggestions. When you click on a template, it will populate some elements based on what is typically used for the template type. For example, a project brief would start with some goals, track team member names, project deliverables, etc. Notice that there's a little toggle button that says include content. If you turn this on, some sample text will be inserted to give you an idea of what you might want to include in each section. If you like the template, you can click on the purple use this template button on the template card. For today's demonstration, I want to see a few more, so I will click some of the other options. And as I click through, notice that they're all formatted in a slightly different way. You are not limited to the four options that you see at the bottom of the page. If you go to the bottom left-hand corner of the content area and click on template gallery, a floating dialog box will appear to show additional templates. At this time, there are 24 options. You can continue scrolling through the templates to get some ideas for what you might want to include in your pages or just take the whole template. One of my favorites is Team Homepage. For today, I'm going to close the template dialog box and start from blank so that we can see how to add our own choices. To give the page a name, put your cursor where it says untitled at the top of the page and start typing a name. In this example, I am going to use tasks. Just like you can with a workspace, you can add an icon and cover image. I always do this because as more content is added, it makes it easier to scan and find things. Where it says just start typing, you can begin adding content. The default type is a paragraph. If you type forward slash, a menu will pop up. I like to give each of my sections a header, so I will start typing heading. You see that I now have six choices in the text styles section. The key difference between them is the first three are regular headings like you might see in Word, but the second three are collapsible. This means that they will have a drop down arrow next to them so you can hide the content when you don't want to see it. I've gotten into the habit of using collapsible sections and typically choose the smaller font that comes with collapsible three. Select your option and then type a header name. In this case, admin tasks. When you click enter, you will go to the next line in the section. I will use the forward slash again to add a checklist. I use this option when tracking some quick tasks that I don't want to forget, but will not take a lot of time and effort to finish. To track more complex tasks, you can use the forward slash and type in task, which will bring up a template for task list where you can assign the names and due dates to people, or you can even use planner and pull in an existing planner board that you may have created. I'm gonna use a task list for this demonstration. As you add more content, if you want to reorganize the sections, hover your mouse over a section. There will be an icon that looks like six dots. Click and hold that, then drag and drop the section to the new location on the page. I point this out so that you know that you can easily reorganize your information without having to copy and paste. For Project Alchemy, we have multiple initiatives going on. If I added the tasks for all of them to one page, it could easily become confusing. Subpages are used to create additional structure. In the navigation pane, hover the mouse over task, click the three dots and select new subpage from the menu. Just like we did before, give the page a title, an icon, and a cover image. 
In the navigation hierarchy, the subpages fall below the main page so that when it is collapsed, they are all hidden until you expand it again. Now that I've organized my tasks a bit, it's time to create a new page to organize meeting notes. In the navigation pane on the right, click on the plus icon to select pages from the menu. I'm going to use this page as a placeholder to start collecting all of the loop components that Teams meetings use for agendas. The only content I need is a purpose statement to let the team know what they should find here and some rules about how the data should be organized. Adding meeting notes to a workspace is different than adding other content like bullet lists and checklists. What you need to do is go to the navigation menu on the left-hand side of the screen and choose meeting notes. The notes are automatically sorted by week with the current week showing. To select a different week, go to the calendar icon in the top right of the navigation pane. From the calendar, select whichever week is associated with the meeting you're looking for. In this example, I am looking for a meeting in the current week. When I select the desired meeting in the content pane on the upper left-hand corner, you will see an icon that looks like three pieces of paper and a plus sign. This is add to workspace. You can search for your workspace if you have multiple, but I only have a few in this test environment, so Project Alchemy is easy to find. When I go back to the Project Alchemy workspace, you will see in the navigation pane that the loop was just added to the top. To put it with the meeting notes, all I have to do is select it and drag and drop it over meeting notes and it will put it as a sub page automatically. You can continue customizing your navigation pane by dragging and dropping any of the items, thus allowing you to organize the content in a way that makes sense to you and or your team. For example, I like tasks to always be at the top. I'm going to click create new page at the bottom of the existing pages to quickly add examples of categories that my sister and I use in our business. And that's it. We have created some pages and added a few content types. There are many ways to organize your work and I encourage you to check out the options to see which work best for you. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to share a workspace or just share parts of a workspace with your colleagues.